Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Illumilani video! And also, the premiere of the finale of Alice! How did it work out though? I hope it- I hope it actually works. This is like the first time I've ever done a premiere, so like... Fingers crossed that that actually worked. So yeah, like finally we're gonna finish the game. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. I originally started this Alice series like many years ago. I think I was only like 18 or 19 at the time and then I restarted it just last year and now we're gonna finish it! Oh wait, really quick guys, I have to show you the shirt. Part 13 finale fan wear. I, I think my friend bought it for me on like Redbubble like a bunch of years ago, but I thought I'd get into the spirit by wearing a shirt of Cheshire Cat. Quick update. I know this isn't really relevant to the video at all, but I just thought I'd let you know about two weeks ago, I walked into the room that I'm currently filming in right now and I was about to write the meanest fucking Denji script before I got in there. Um, But then I noticed a little spider on the curtain. And after I noticed a little spider on the curtain, I noticed a little spider hanging from the ceiling. And then after I noticed a little spider on the ceiling, I noticed another spider on top of the ceiling. Um, so suffice to say, there was an egg that hatched in this office right now, which is a fate that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I have a horrible fear of spiders. I know the fucker that did it too. It was a jumping spider that we literally like let go like three days before that. And she left me her kids. She, she left, left those motherfuckers to the system. system. So yeah, I mean, we took care of them. And by we, I mean, I sat on the couch terrified and going like that. And my boyfriend came over here and bombed the motherfucker because I was not about to have a spider infestation in here. So unrelevant, but it's a crazy story, is it not? Is that not insane? Yeah, that's not that's that's not relevant to this at all. Anyways, yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and get into it. This is gonna be a really good time, I, I, th I think. And we also have to let it crash just once. See, so this is the longest this is ever gonna play because I think it just glitched. Yeah. You're welcome, everybody. The full Baba Booey experience. Okay, I need to click out of this. Baba Booey, stop for like two seconds. Hold on. Thank you, Baba Booey. All right, second time's the charm. I think this one will work. How close are we to like actually finishing the game? But like, how many collectibles do we have? Uh, 87% completion. I guess that's not bad, but it's not like, I was hoping it'd be in the 90s, so whatever. Oh, where are we? Oh, this music is insane. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit of a bitch right now, and I had to turn the volume down on my actual computer. Not for you guys. You guys can deal with it, but this part low-key freaks me out. What does this say? Houndstitch Home for Wayward Youth, Dr. Angus Bumby Proprietor. Proprietary? Whatever. Anyways, this is fucked. And machine made corsets. This is so crazy. Um, in college, we're actually learning about the industrial revolution right now, and it's so fascinating to see these little tidbits inside like games and stuff. That and biology too. Not to get into like a tangent, but there's also this game that I've been playing called Exocolitus that has like a lot of biology in it. I'm getting ahead of myself here. But anyways, it's nice to see my classes coming up in video games. It's it's wild and insane. Anyways. You oozing saw of depravity children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breeding livestock. A declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> Ew. You brute. They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. Damn. Oh, that shit does look so crazy, though. Yes, girl. That costume doesn't fit at all. I could never change it. The absolute jarring the Baba Booey filter is every single time it transitions into a scene like this. Anyways, let's take a look at this infernal train for a second. Wow. The insane detail that must have gone into this. Wow. I remember when I was younger, I wanted to build this in Minecraft only to find out somebody already had and then better than I could ever do it either. I wonder if that still exists. Editing me, does that still exist? Anyways, let's continue. We have a game to play. Oh, and thank you, editing me. Hatter, I must stop this infernal train and the evil force that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all search, freighted with fear and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. Never time for tea. Mark your brains on holiday. We are ruined. Now we're all mad here. And that's a good excuse for going to hell in the teapot, but not for forgetting what your sense is. So forgetting is just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I'd like to forget what you did. I've tried, but I can't. You've used me and abused me. 
But you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened. And you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Come to receive your punishment then. I know I'm guilty of something, but punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. And you're right, abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier, but you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. Okay, that was a long cutscene. Yes and no. I don't know. I get why all of the characters in here are victim blaming. I get why they're being like, I'd like to forget what you did, what you did, what you did, even though like obviously Bumby's the one that killed her family, Bumby's the one that's grooming all these children. And like, yes, she's kind of, com I hesitate to say she's kind of complicit in this, but not really? Like she's fucking, like she's in her own thing, you know? Like she's doing her own thing and she's losing her own mind. What is, she, what was she gonna do about it? But also I get why they're victim blaming because it's technically her in here and she hates herself for it but it's just like oh hearing them say it is just so so man that's it that's that's the tweet just man hey everybody editing lonnie here i don't think i was very eloquent enough with what i was trying to say but basically what i was trying to say is everything in alice's mind is like her wonderland and it's all a representation of her so the reason that they're victim blaming her is because she hates herself and all of these characters are technically like a representation of her so if she hates herself and she's blaming herself the character in the game are blaming her too and I also don't think she was necessarily complicit in everybody else's abuse because she was in her own right going insane and so she was dealing with her own stuff in her own head that I think would have kept her from helping other people if that makes sense so yeah just let I clarify that here because she was not eloquent with that anyways enjoy the game I think it's so scary how it's just going by you so oh my memories but you failed to make me forget. I could have okay. made you into a tasty bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But you wouldn't forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad like your sister. Oh, Don't fuck this guy. Speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease, pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted in the end. My Lizzie, what is this train's destination? Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no. Oh, poor Lizzie. And there are no centaurs in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed. That is so horrible. Oh God. <laughs> It's so horrible. It's so horrible. That's so horrible. Also, fuck Bumby, dude. Fuck that guy. You know what I want to do? I want, I want, I want Alice to take Bumby by the neck. I want her to swing him around like this. Maybe even play jump rope with it. I don't know. I hate that guy. Oh, it's so castle-like. And this? I think there's not mist. Yep, there is. The insane children are in there. This is insane. Crazy as shit. They really did go all out for this. Uh-oh. 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 I thought this was gonna take a lot longer to get to. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit terrified. I'm a lot of bit terrified. Let me hold on. Let me take a drink of my coffee so I can have a little more anxiety in me. X Games mode. If we've learned anything from the rest of the game, it's that if we just use the correct weapons, we can do it. We can do it. It's just boy oh boy. Oh boy oh boy oh boy. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not gonna be as bad when I actually do it. Just, it's not gonna be as bad. Why do I play games that give me anxiety? Why do I do this to myself? Why did I take a full drink of coffee before I did this? I'm a maniac. The past oh must be paid for. No! You pay for it! You rat bastard! Oh! Oh shit! God. This might benefit us more. Teapot cannon? No, it's not. Oh, it's not doing shit. I think I legitimately just have to wait. Kill him, kill him. I just have to wait for it to get on the ground. God, it goes so fast. Get away from me! Okay. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, 
Okay, nice. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I do what I want. Forget this dick. Oh, I hate that. Oh, goodness. Maybe don't do that would be like a really cool thing for you to do. Why? Wait, wait, what the fuck? Hold on, hold on, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. My controller is not working. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, my controller stopped working. Oh, it just, I, I was playing a little too hard and it disconnected. That is not the fault of the game. That is the fault of me, Illumilani. But it did scare the fuck out of me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh god. It's okay. We only lost a couple of flowers from that. No, I don't like when you do that, actually. <gasps> ah! Stop. What, what just hurt him right there? I think something hurt him. Uh, yes. No. No. Ooh. Hey, but he killed his own comrade, though. He's actually kind of helping me, if you think about it. Can you, like, stay away from me? It's not about you, little mini ruin. It's literally not about him, but he's trying to make it about- Look at him! He's trying to make it about himself. Oh, he, he lost his little head. Get out of here. You're not in this episode. Okay, what you got for me? Okay. Sounds to me like you're just bitter. Not two of these bitches. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. Oh, get over it. Oh, oh God. That was foul. That was so foul. What did he just fucking rub me between his fucking... Oh, this is so sick. Learn how to use your weapons, girlies. That's the moral of the story. Ah, it's the moral of the story here. Ow. Goodness, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Put me down. Rat bastard. Open up, bitch. That's what I fucking thought, you ass. Come on, we almost got him, we almost got him. He's down to one head. Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. He almost got my ass, but he did it. Oh, he did. Oh, it just glitched out, I guess. I love how that one's just watching me while this guy misses his job. Okay. Give me it. Bitch. Ow. Fuck you and fuck your kids. My kids, I mean his little hands and his little fucking gooey shit. I'll see you charged. In prison, some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed, a hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My God, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. She looks so emaciated you in this world. monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished by whom by what psychotic silly bitch mm. your madness will be punished now leave i'm expecting your replacement Whoa, it just, it halted right there, sorry. This is so pretty, but I need to talk about that scene. I've been waiting to talk about that scene the entire game because how fucking anticlimactic was that? You remember when earlier in the video, I said I wanted her to take him by the neck and go like this? I just don't think that was nearly violent enough. He did like horrible unspeakable things. He just gets pushed in front of a train. Also, the music felt a little anticlimactic. I feel like it should have been a little more intense. It seemed a bit like silly and like jovial. I don't know. I just think better things could have been done with that ending. I think it should have been a much more like maybe she pull out the vorpal blade or something and just give him the old fucking the old swiss cheese that was lame i'm sorry but yeah i just i don't know i just thought that was kind of uncool i'm glad i got that out of my system it's a great game i just think the ending could have been a little bit better okay where do we go this is so cottage core oh pretty oh so pretty ah alice we can't go home again no surprise really only a very few find the way and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions too. 
die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it, agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory for now. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Wow. I've only been recording for 20 minutes, though. I... I did think this was gonna be a little longer than a 20 minute recording. Um... Oops. Ha. Huh. Well, okay. Um, anyways, so now it's the credit scene. Um, now would be a great time to talk about all the ideas I think would be so great for Alice Manage Returns. So there is a spin-off series for this. What is it called? Lunder? No, it's not Lunderland. It's, um, hold on. Hold on, I gotta look this up. There were some sequel series that were done for this game and they were kind of like claymation going into the minds of prolific people like Edison and shit like that. But the coolest thing that I've ever seen was an idea where instead of they're going into prolific minds, which like, you know, I don't I don't really care about. There's a bunch of other kids there who got messed up, you know? And they've been through a lot of abuse. And I think it would be a really, really cool opportunity to still have this dark inner machinations of people's minds. If she were to like go into those kids' minds and kind of try to help them in a therapy like that if that makes sense i don't know if it would make sense in the context of like what actually happens but i still think that would be a really cool idea and it would have been better than what we got because i know the fan reaction to those shorts wasn't the greatest the animation also wasn't that great either the stories were okay like it didn't it just didn't feel like alice you know what i mean it didn't feel all oh, the music ended i've been talking so long it just it just didn't feel like alice so i think there's there's some to be done there i know american mcgee will never come back to this game he's already stated that no more alice projects will come out of him especially since ea kind of did him dirty but i just you know this game is great there's a lot to it it's so creative it's genuinely a really inspiring creative game just how much work they did on this and yeah i mean i i hope you guys like that and i hope you guys didn't mind me rambling i do intend on playing more video games in between my video essays um but i do have some runner ups thank you guys for lasting to the end of the video and i hope you guys like this game you guys have a lovely rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>